Hey guys, uh, Brandon here with a quick update video on my uh, NFT and hydroponic system. Um, since I made the video last, uh, I've done one quick upgrade and that's with the uh, feeder line. Uh, a lot of us are using this crappy um, garden line we get at Home Depot. It has the, uh, the quarter inch and half inch, you know, with the prongs and all that. And they leak like crazy and they're a pain in the butt to puncture the holes and put in and uh, I've been trying to get rid of it for a long time, just never really uh, thought about it or, or had the time to do it. Um, but um, as I was you know, building the new system, just leaking and, and, and causing problems. So I uh, got rid of that, and um, I guess I just wasn't looking hard enough because I was trying to go to PVC for a long time and, um, and didn't know that there was actually a little piece that you could buy. It's very simple. So uh, I'll show you that real quick. Um, basically, you've got three pieces. You've got this guy right here which is just a basically a drip line adapter um, you can get that in the um, you know sprinkler section uh, that little piece rotates around so you can swivel it any which way you want it's got a uh, male and a female uh, threaded in for a um, uh, half inch so other than that you've got a half inch male adapter here okay so it goes right to PVC half inch that's gonna go right there and then you've got the female adapter right there, half inch PVC. So um, with that, you can see that the system is running off of that now. You've got the uh, female adapter, you've got the piece. Here's the, uh, the line that rotates. Uh, so if you're running it different than, than you know, vertically, you can, you can swivel it any which way. And then you've got the male adapter on that side. Now make sure when you guys are putting it together that you are um, PVC cementing all of your parts and then also uh, using the threading tape around where you're going to be screwing it in because it will leak and um, the entire time I was testing it it was leaking out uh, but not anymore now that it's been cemented so uh, you can see the whole line is now PVC and uh, I've noticed that with all the cement in there and the seal that I'm actually getting more pressure um, on the line uh, which is good more feeding to the buckets and um, now you just don't have to worry about any, um, you know, silly leakage. Um, you know, PVC is a lot stronger, obviously. And then when you've actually got things threaded and not just holes being poked into something, um, it's going to work a lot better. So, um, just a quick update on it. And, uh, you know, kind of the options are endless when you, when you go with a, a system like that. So, um, really enjoying the new system really enjoying the PVC now uh, easier to cut easier to control and um, you know a lot better off so hopefully that helps hopefully you guys are um, building your systems and, and I'm hopefully uh, inspiring you guys to have some ideas on your own uh, your own system so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time